Here we have a 2010 Toyota Corolla. This one comes in the LE trim level in Barcelona red metallic on gray cloth interior. And the powertrain consists of a 1.8 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine made it to a four speed automatic transmission. We're gonna get to our front end here. And there are our headlights there. And then down here, we have 15 inch steel wheels with the plastic hubcap covering. And there are our controls for our power windows and power door locks. And then we have our power mirror controls along with our traction control. You can switch that on and off. And there's our driver's seat. And there's our leg room. I'm six foot three and I have the seat in front of me adjusted for someone of my size. And that's my leg room there. And there we have two cup holders. And now we're gonna open the trunk. And to do that, just come down here, pull this up, and there's our gas cap. We can open that. And there's the trunk space there. And there we have a quick glance at the rear end. And this model has just a little under 106,000 miles on it. And there is the front passenger seat. I really like this Barcelona red metallic though. It looks really good. Let's look under the hood. And there's that 1.8 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder. And now let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So there's our steering wheel there, cruise control. And over to our radio, we have an AM FM radio along with a CD drive and an aux input. So there's a CD player there, volume, power, tune. And then we can Seek there. Presets. And then down here we have our climate controls. Turn that. For fan speed, there's your rear defrost you can toggle. And then, depending on what you want to set it to, and then you can close off the vents hitting that there. And then here we have our temperature knob. And when the fan is on, you can cut the AC on and off. Then down here, you have a pretty nifty clock here. And then your aux input, they can listen to your MP3s. And the shifter here, you just pull down, reverse, neutral, drive, and then you can slap over to stay in that 
third gear, go down to second, and then your low mode there. And there's our emergency brake. You have a little bit of storage here on the side. That's pretty cool. And then you have your 12 volt cigarette lighter there. Cup holders, center console cubby space, not a bad size. And there's a view of the back seat from up here. And there's our glove compartment. And this one even still has the owner's manuals in it. But this is interesting here, having this storage compartment up top. You usually don't see this in cars, you see it in trucks. So very interesting. Headlamp controls over here, blinker there, windshield wiper controls over here. Like I said before, the cruise control knob, you just press that to turn it on and then you can set it there. And there is a look at the gauge cluster and you can change the menu here. And then you can change your view here if you wanna have it set to trip or the odometer. And finally, there's our key and there's a five. You can unlock, lock, alarm, and then hold to pop the trunk. And next is time to take this 2010 Toyota Corolla LE out on the road for a quick test drive. Surprisingly not bad acceleration. It's not fast, but it gets up. Give it some throttle here. So it definitely has the merging power. I mean, for a good cheap car, the ride quality is not bad at all if you have a 30, 50 mile commute from work. And for this kind of car, it is very small, but I'm not being blown all over the road. And ride quality is honestly is good for this kind of car. But I like how simple everything is to use on here. It's easy to drive. Controls are easy to use. And if you're on a budget, really good car. and definitely gets really good gas mileage. And one thing I'll say is off the line, the pedal is touchy, which I kind of like. Because when you put your foot down, it will go. And the brake pedal just takes a little getting used to. You have to put it down quite a bit initially, but it makes it less jerky when you're hitting the brakes.
really not all that loud in here, surprisingly, as the cars drive past me. And I don't hear any weird wind noises coming in or any intrusive sounds from the road. And like I said before, this has just a little under 106,000 miles, so that's pretty impressive. And even like quality control things like the steering wheel isn't overly worn. Everything seems to be in really good shape. Everything seems to work in here. And like I said before, it's just so easy to drive. This will bring me to an end of my review of the 2010 Toyota Corolla LE.